thing about this show that's most important is about having fun, right? Yes. Having fun and being able to travel to go places. Well, we've got a place for you to go this morning that is, well, people have been going there for over 100 years. Yes, so we're talking about the Geauga County Fair. <laughs> and we have we Abby to have she's fun already this talking. We're in Burton at the great Geauga County Fair. Doors are open and there's a lot going on already. Already having a ton of fun. And joining us is Paul from the fair. He's hanging out with us this morning, kind of showing us around what's happening. So we're in the domestic arts barn right now. Right. This is really important to the fair. Oh, absolutely. It's one of the oldest buildings that's on the fairgrounds here. Dates back to 1856. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. So, and uh, got a ton of exhibits in here to show you. So. And we know that people have been coming here to the fair for over 100 years. That's because this is the oldest fair in the state. Absolutely. Oldest fair in the state of Ohio. This is our 197th year. We'll be the first one to turn 200 in a few years, and we're pretty excited about that. So. And so there's a lot in this barn. There's plenty to see, but in here is one of the most important parts of the fair, and that's the baked goods. We were checking out a little bit earlier because the doors open, and if you look down here, that's where all the kids are doing their projects, and they're amazing, and all the kids were just in here checking to see who came in first. Yeah, checking to see who won, finding their ribbons on them and stuff. They're pretty excited. It's always first day to take a look and see how they did. And you said that's one of the real special parts about the fair is seeing, for adults too, just seeing their eyes light up. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's all about our youth and our future. They're our future and we just want to do whatever we can to help them out, so. And there's something else that we should mention about, you know, the baked goods, about this barn in particular. There's someone who really does like to test out the baked goods. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. Two years ago, we had a situation where a raccoon broke in one night and he cleaned out the best of show for us. And uh, <laughs> oh. apparently, the way it looks, he was back last night. So it's been, he took off a year, but he was back last night. And uh, apparently, he's back to see what he can scavenger up in here. So. All right, so that's the baked good bandit. So you got to keep an eye out for him Absolutely. as you come out to the fair. But things are just getting started. And I know you can't have a fair without trying out some good food. So. I know we're going to head outside in a little bit. They're going to make some food for us, maybe a funnel cake or two. Maybe. Can't go wrong with that, right? Hey, if you can fry it, you can have it. So. And that's what the fair is all about. So we're going to be back in a little bit. We're going to head outside, check out the rides, check out food. And we'll yep. have a whole lot more from the fair coming up in just a little bit. David.